All of the things that we try to do in public health really rely on our ability to find people and identify people over time. And I was uh, literally staring at my wife's ear. I kept thinking, you know, Jen has pretty nice ears, and they're very unusual. And then it occurred to me that why not ears? This would be a perfectly reasonable way of trying to identify people. Our goal is to develop a phone application that would use ear biometrics to capture data from an individual's ear and then connect them with their medical records. Basically the problem is that we go into field settings and we encounter patients and we don't know who they are. This is a problem that we have been trying to solve for, for years and a lot of different approaches have been used. Again and again we keep getting asked why ears. They are impersonal, they are unique, and then they are easily accessible. Unlike you know, your, your face, which is very personal, or even your hands, which are very personal. People don't really think about ears. If you think about a child and you're trying to get an image of their eyes or their fingerprints, it's much less threatening to just take a picture of the side of their head. They don't mind that. They're unique in the sense that they are every bit as individualized as a fingerprint. We did an experiment and we found that you know, using a very, very simple approach with rulers and protractors, we were able to get up to about 100% accuracy in identifying subjects using images of their ears. Um, and they're accessible in that they're literally right there um, and they stay with you for life. So we know that ears grow most rapidly within the first year of life. And therefore, if we can capture photographs consistently enough, we can increase our accuracy and increase our ability to track that child throughout their following years of life. We have proven that this can work. To take it to the next step, we need to develop a working prototype. Our team is seeking $10,000, first off to develop a phone application that will allow us to capture data from an individual's ear via photograph, and second to develop a cradle which will allow us to standardize the image capturing process. If we can create a, a simple solution that can be mounted as an app on a smartphone, this is a tool that can be used by hundreds of thousands of, of rural community health workers around the world.